internet. This is the stubby Brit. We are back in Sanctuary with my new friends. As you can see, the uh, the fog appears to be lifting. At least I think it is. We've had a relatively uneventful night. We've set up a campfire. We've dug a few wells. We're in the process of clearing out some debris, uh, setting up some furniture so we can make a home here, which should be lovely. And there's the power armor, which I found, if you recall. Assuming you're watching again. Assuming it's you watching again. Whoever you are. So, yeah, last night was a little bit rough, I have to admit. I wasn't feeling so good. I was sick a few times. And the cockroaches are still excessively large. Um, I don't know whether it was the food or the water or the ambient radiation. But this morning I feel good. This morning I feel very good, in fact. I seem to recall reading somewhere that excessive positivity is a side effect of radiation poisoning. But even so, I feel good. And uh, I'm not I'm not abandoning Preston and his friends. Uh, in fact, Preston's asked me to stop over at a place called, uh, what was it, Ten Pines Bluff, I think. It's uh, somewhere this way. In fact, let's check the map. Let's make sure we're going the right way. Let's see. Yes, so, uh, if we just uh, follow the road, I think, hopefully, we will come across it. Of course, we have our trusty dog at our side. <sighs> it is a nice day for a walk, isn't it? So, Preston's got it in his head that he wants to uh, reform the Minutemen. Which sounds like a nice thing to do. I mean, based on what I've seen so far of this uh, post-apocalyptic hellscape, we could certainly use a bit more law and order. I think this is the point where we go off the beaten track. So, as far as I'm concerned, anything that might make the Commonwealth a little bit safer is a good thing. And, uh... Well, here's hoping it helps, eh? What have we got here? Some sort of a quarry. I don't suppose anyone's here, do you? I've just got a bad feeling about this place. Oh. It looks like it's been flooded. False alarm, then. I guess, uh... I can't imagine what could... What use anyone could have for a flooded quarry. Although, I think there was a, a junkyard somewhere around here. suppose if we do run across raiders, I can try out a new feature I found uh, while I was recharging my headset. Apparently. Ooh, what are these? Silt beans. What was that? False alarm. Well, you know what? Food is always a good thing. And, uh... Sorry, I've, I've completely lost track of what I was saying. Yes, I was uh, exploring the Pip-Boy while recharging my uh, camera. And this has uh, something called the vault Assisted Targeting System. Apparently, it was developed by vault for their security forces. And it, uh, it supposedly makes you a much more effective combatant. Now, I've got to admit, following my... Uh, recent experience with vault -Tec, I'm a little bit skeptical. And thinking back, there were all those rumours that vault -Tec was up to something shady. Uh, there was the story about in Nuka World. Uh, it's a theme park dedicated to Nuka-Cola. People claimed that vault -Tec were running some kind of experiment on people who visited the park. Uh, just <laughs> It was to do with the fact that like people would do... Oh shit, hello dog. <laughs> Ow! Stop biting me! Bloody dogs! There's another one, isn't there? Hey! Stay away from my dog! 
Uh, I hate the locals. I hate the local animals. I hate the local people. I hate the local environment. I hate everything about the locals. Jesus Christ. That hurt. Excuse me while I perform some first aid. Right. Okay. I feel better. I clearly need a better weapon than this police baton. Hmm. Where was I? Before I was so rudely mauled. Yeah, there were rumours about vault Tech being up to something suspicious and people going crazy in one of the exhibits at the, uh, the theme park. I always put it down to people drinking too much sugar sugary drinks and overheating and being surrounded by children. Maybe I was wrong. Do you think these people would be upset if I stole some potatoes? Hi. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Hey, take it easy. I'm with the Minutemen. I'm here to help. You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days. After Quincy. Bad business, that. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from. But we can't go up against a gang like that. Don't worry. I'll take care of them. If you folks are for real this time, it'll be a welcome change for the better. Alrighty. So we're off to the Corvega assembly plant, wherever that is. South of that way. And, uh, if you don't mind, I am going to help myself to some of your potatoes, because... Sanctuary needs food. Sorry, I, I, I do feel bad about stealing your potatoes, but... We What's need food doing? too, you know. You? I hardly even notice it anymore. I'm glad to hear it. It really is a little bit depressing to, uh... Look at the mess this place has become. Oh. Hmm. Kind of like that windmill. And that, if I'm right, that's Lexington. So I guess we just, uh, great more fucking dogs. I think we can spare some bullets this time. Off we go on our grand adventure. Shit. You know what? I really shouldn't be surprised. I really shouldn't be surprised. After that giant fucking Godzilla thing, I really shouldn't be surprised at anything running around out here. Especially not a naked mole rat. Looks like a train station of some sort. I guess if we follow the train tracks, we'll reach our destination. I mean, the, uh... Sir? Uh, what are you eating? He, he was eating a mole rat, wasn't he? You know what? Maybe we should give this place a wide berth. These guys... These guys look a little, uh... Ill. Don't mind me. <laughs> yeah, let's put the gun away. Let's not look threatening. Alright. We will uh, follow the tracks to our destination. And maybe we'll just have a quick look in here. Oh well. Uh, this is Nuka Cola going. Not sure. Whoa! Holy hell! <sighs> P 
Bloody hell. Thanks for the save, dog. <laughs> I owe you one. Okay, so, uh, I'm guessing that was a feral ghoul that Preston told me about. There's a floating cow! A floating two-headed cow! Bloody hell. <laughs> okay. It's official. I have radiation poisoning, and I'm being driven insane. Maybe none of this is real at all. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's, uh... Maybe we should stop at the driving. Yeah, you know what? Maybe there's, um... Maybe there's food. Maybe there's... Supplies. Certainly plenty of cars. That ain't them work, but... There you go. Maybe we can find some scrap electronics. Sanctuary's gonna need defences. <laughs> Ow! Bloody hell! What the hell is that? Oh, shit! What the hell just happened? Okay, I think we've uh, removed everything of value from this place. So, let's move on. We have a mission to accomplish. I don't like the look of that. Onwards to, uh... Corvega assembly plant. Corvega were never my favorite brand of car. Don't get me wrong, they were, they were nice cars. But, uh... I always prefer to buy British. Proper, proper Jaguar. Yes, that's the car of choice. Cost a fortune to get them imported. That's why I never got one. Guess I never will now. But who knows, maybe there is a, a pre-war Jaguar. Still in working condition. There's the local, uh, Super Duper Mart. <laughs> that's, that, that'll have been long since picked clean. I mean, that's the first place you'd go if you were looting. And look at that beauty. Someone tells me you'll wreck, don't you? Yeah. Rusted solid. Damn shame. You know what? I've got some resources. Maybe I should, uh, look at tweaking my armor while I'm here. Let's see. This, I don't really have any uh, adhesive, do I? Well, that's that plank bucket. I wonder if uh, I wonder if there's any glue lying around. Can't imagine it'd be still very good after 210 years, but who knows? Oh, shit! <laughs> Back away, zombie! Jeez, you just don't die, do you? Ah! God, fuck up! Okay. You know what? Might be willing to try the vats now. Which button was it? <laughs> wow, vault tech came through. I'm impressed. <laughs> Ow, jeez. Why won't you die? Whoa! What's that? Ah. 
Back off. Need a stim pack. What the hell is being fired around here? Jesus fucking Christ. What have I got myself into? You you guys gotta have something of value, right? <sighs> Ten millimeter rounds. You beauty. And duct tape. You. I don't know if whoever's up there is on my side. Can't believe jittery. Yeah, sure. No, you you don't look friendly at all. You know what? This was a huge mistake. Let's uh move on. Six fucking rounds. Shit. Okay, we need a new plan. I I barely made it out of that alive. Well, for a start, we can... We need more leather. If we can find more leather, we could... We could really make something worth having here. Where are we? Okay, Lexington is not a friendly place. Maybe we should, uh... Maybe we should hope for this Diamond City place Preston told me about. Yeah, I think, uh... I think we need to move on. <laughs> Preston told me there were traders that come through. Maybe someone can sell us some ammo. Se sell us some uh, better armor. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> okay, this has been a... An absolute clusterfuck of a day. So I think I'm going to find somewhere to set up camp. Uh, maybe resupply, perhaps? And hopefully, we can begin the assault on Corvega at nightfall. So until then, this is the Stabby Brit, signing out.